Welcome to the uh, Temple Israel Mindfulness Service, uh, our Sunday morning service. Uh, this week, um, I'm going to begin with a little reading from the uh, Jewish Mindfulness Practices for Everyday Life by uh, Jeff Roth. He quotes uh, a story that, that Reb Zalman used to tell as he was traveling about his daughter, uh, Slavi, who was about five years old at the time. One morning, Slavi woke up and said to him, Abba, you know how when you are asleep and dreaming, it seems so real, and then you wake up and realize it was just a dream? When you're awake, can you wake up that much more and realize that this was just a dream? So we spend much of our lives walking around in a dream, our minds are elsewhere, they're not in the present moment, they're thinking about yesterday, they're worrying about things in the future. So as we settle in this morning, let's take, make an intention to try to focus on the here and now for this next hour, because we really can't experience life unless we're in the present. We can't pray if we're worrying about thinking about what we're having for lunch. So I invite you to get in a comfortable position and we'll spend a moment, a few moments settling down and helping our minds focus on the here and now. So I, I ask you to find a comfortable position, sitting up straight but not stiff. And one of the best tools to staying present is, is our breath. So I'll ask you to focus on that transition as you breathe in and transition to the out breath. Notice what's happening in your body as you breathe in and your lungs expand to their capacity. What are you noticing in your torso, your shoulders, your chest, your back? Something happening that you might not normally be aware of. Now turn your attention to the exhale at the bottom of the breath. What do you feel as your lungs are completely empty? What sensations do you feel in your abdomen, your middle and lower back? You might be feeling a sense of relaxation or release. And you can let that feeling of relaxation flow from the top of your head, through your jaw, your neck, your shoulders, down through your back, legs and your feet. And as your mind wanders, realize that that's what our minds do. They wander. And our thoughts are not truisms. They're just thoughts. They're not who we are. And 
and we don't always have to follow the story of those thoughts. One technique is to think of, imagine a stream with leaves flowing through the stream. And when a thought comes up, imagine one of those leaves is the thought. And as the leaves flow down through the stream and maybe turn in a bend and disappear out of sight, so does the thought. Thought is not who we are. It's just one of the many inputs into our mind that we can choose to react to or not. Now that we've had a moment to settle in, I invite you to open your eyes and we begin with our service. To the after effects of the chant in the body. Notice what's different, what's awakened. There's the liveliness in the body, in the breath, in the chest after the mode ani. Just noticing the sweetness of the after effect of the chant. Praised are you, Adonai, our God, who rules the universe, fashioning the human body in wisdom, creating openings in arteries, glands, and organs, marvelous in structure, intricate in design, 
Should but one of them fail to function by being blocked or open, it would be impossible to survive and to serve you. Praised are you, Adonai, healer of all flesh, sustaining our bodies in wondrous ways. Here's a poem by uh, Mary Oliver. Every day I see or hear something that more or less kills me with delight, that leaves me like a needle in the haystack of light. It was what I was born for, to look, to listen, to lose myself inside this soft world, to instruct myself over and over in joy and acclamation. Nor am I talking about the exceptional, the fearful, the dreadful, the very extravagant, but of the ordinary, the common, the very drab, the daily presentations. Oh, good scholar, I say to myself, how can you help but grow wise with such teachings as these? The untrimmable light of the world, the oceans shine, the prayers that are made out of grass. The soul that you, my God, have given me is pure. You created it, you formed it, you breathed it into me. You keep body and soul together. On page four, in the middle of the page. Hello, hi, Nishama, Shinatata, Biteho, Rahi. Hello, hi, Nishama, Shinatata, Biteho. Hello, hi, Nishama, Hello, hi, Nishama, Shinatata, be the Rahi. Hello, hi, Nishama, Shinatata, be the Rahi. Hello, hi, Nishama, Shinatata, be the Rahi. Hello, I. Hello, hi, Nishama, Shinata, Tabi. Hello, hi, Teho, Ra, Teho, Rahi. Hello, hi, hello, hi, Nishama, Shinata, Tabi. Hello, hi, Teho, Ra, Teho, Rahi. Returning to the breath and the body, noticing what's new, what's changed, where the liveness is in the breath and the body in this moment. And Sue Rajan from uh, Air Temple Wizard of Natick is going to lead us in an uh, introduction to Harani Begabel, which is in the uh, middle of page four. Hear me? Yes. Your life now. What if you knew every breath was blessing, pure and simple gift that comes to you, unbidden, unsought, comes to you freely with no requirement other than this. You receive it and return it. Transformed through the crucible you are. What if holy container, necessary cauldron, 
you walked or moved in any way you can move through your hours with this knowledge of the gift embedded in the marrow of your bones, circling through every rotation, every turn you, can, you still can make. How would you greet your neighbors then, knowing what you know of receiving? Who would you see when they pass through your open door? So when we chant Hareni Mikabel Alai, um, think about your neighbors or people in your Zoom screen as a breath, receiving it and letting it out, receiving it and letting it out. Continuing on page 14, Psalm 30, a Psalm of David, a song for the dedication of the temple. I extol you, Adonai, for you raised me up. You did not permit foes to rejoice over me. Adonai, I cried out, and you healed me. You saved me from the pit of death. Sing to Adonai, you faithful, acclaim God's holiness, for God's anger lasts a moment. Divine love is lifelong, tears may linger for a night, joy comes with the dawn. While at ease I once thought, nothing can shake my security, favor me, and I am a mountain of strength. Hide your face, Adonai, and I am terrified. To you, Adonai, would I call, before the eternal would I plead. What profit is there if I am silenced? What benefit if I go to my grave? Will the dust praise you? Will it proclaim your faithfulness? Hear me, Adonai, be gracious. Be my help. Elecha, Adonai, the Adonai, 
You transform my mourning into dancing, my sackcloth into robes of joy, that I might sing your praise unceasingly, that I might thank you, Adonai, my God, forever. Mourners, please lead us in the Mourners' Kaddish on page 15. Yitgadal, yitgadash shenei rabah, v'yalma divra kiritei, v'yamlich malchutei, v'chayechon uv'yamechon v'chayei d'chol v'ech Yisrael, v'agala uv'zman k'ari v'imru honeim, v'hei shmei rabah mevorach v'yolam o'ol y'alaya, v'yitbarach v'yishtabach v'yitpar v'yitromam v'yitnaseh, v'yitadar v'yitalech v'yitalal shenei d'kud sh'abrichu, now, Eric, you go well from Congregation Beth, Judah in Long Grove, Illinois, is going to lead us in Baruch Shemar. In the beginning of Bereshit, God creates wor worlds through speech, through words. God creates worlds through words. And so in response, in gratitude, is to offer words, words of praise for each act of creation. Today we'll follow the practice of our alternative minion, our congregation, Beth Judea, and recite Baruch Hu, praising God, after each verse. We will also daven the entire paragraph following Baruch Shamar together as a way of beginning to integrate davening practice into the service. I invite you to stand as we continue with the verses of Baruch Shamar. Baruch Shamar Vahaya Olam, Baruch Hu, Baruch Oseh Vereshit, Baruch Hu, Baruch Omer Vyoseh, Baruch Hu, Baruch Ozer Mkayen, Baruch Hu, Baruch Marachem Al Ha'oretz, Baruch Hu, Baruch Marachem Al Ha'riot, Baruch Hu, Baruch Meshalim Sachar Tov Lereyav, Baruch Haila Ad Vekayam Lanetzach, Baruch Podet Matziel, Baruch Shalom, Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Marafalam, Ha'el Ha'ad Ha'an, Ha'gulol Ha'gulol Shabbat <laughs> Baruch Ata Adonai, Melech Rulam, Ati Ishpacho. Thank you, Eric. We can be seated as we turn to page 21, continuing with Ashrei, the psalm that holds within it. Each verse, an expression of God's fullness, will begin the psalm together, chanting the first verse, after which I invite you to gently scan the words, either in Hebrew or in English, until you find the verse that's just opening you up today, that's really speaking to you, and bring that verse into speech 
either with a melody or without a melody or in English or in Hebrew, it really doesn't matter. And in that way, all of our voices will together create a cacophonous ashray, after which a few minutes of owning that verse so that you can take that verse with you into the rest of your day, We'll conclude the last verse of Ashray together, but first we'll begin with Shefa Gold's chant at the beginning of the psalm. Oh, now diving into the sun, finding the verse that you are first today and bringing that verse into speech. So me haduna le cholo no flame, the zokev le chol ha God supports all who stumble and uplifts those who are bowed down. God supports all who stumble and uplifts all who are bowed down. So me haduna le cholo no flame, the zokev le chol ha So me haduna le cholo no flame, the zokev le chol ha so okay Adonai supports all who stumble and uplifts all who are bowed down. Adonai supports all who stumble and uplifts all who are bowed down. Adonai supports all who stumble and uplifts all who are bowed down. So may Adonai the whole of the flame is okay for the whole of the flame. So may Adonai the whole of the flame is okay for the whole Okay, okay. Now to the end of the verse together. Tehilat Adonai daber pi vayevarech kol basar shem kodesho leolam ha'ayim vadachnu nevarech yachet haviyad olam hallelujah. Ralph Kornstein from uh, Temple of Zodatic here is going to lead us in Psalm 150 on page 25 in the middle. Psalm 150, the crowning psalm of the Book of Psalms. This psalm commands us to uh, thank God, thank God for our breath. As our breath leaves our body, the Holy One, blessed be He, returns it back to us every time. Every time we take a breath, it leaves our body, it comes back because of Hashem. The psalm commands us to use everything at our disposal to thank God. With harp and lyre, with drum, dancing, flute and strings, with our feet, with our hands. Psalm 150. Hallelujah, 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 
Which brings us on page 27 to the shores of the Red Sea, standing as we do every single day on the shores of something new, leaving behind some older way of looking at the world that no longer matches our reality that holds us back, some assumption that once seemed true but no longer serves us well, moving forward into something different, something expansive, perhaps something frightening. And yet like our ancestors who were terrified by the shores of the Red Sea, they knew that standing still was no option because you can never stand still in life. You can only move forward. And so we gather up our courage and our strength and our calm and in a sense of rootedness. We begin to perceive what is there in front of us waiting for us to accept it into some new expanded understanding of what is true for us and what is possible for us today. Singing together on page 27, the beginning of the song. Az Yashir Moshe Uvenehe Yisrael Et Hashira Hazod Ladunai Vayomru Lemur Hashira Ladunai Kigaoka Sus Berokbo Ramavaya Bohozi Vinzim Rakya Oh, 
Ozi, Rezim Ratya, Vayeli, Vishua, Ozi, Rezim Ratya, Vayeli, Vishua, Ozi. The same right now, by the same Feeling the after effects of the chant in the body. Noticing what's changed, where the liveness is in you right now. Just breathing into it. Nita Shadonai Kananu Yadeha Adonai Lahu Leola Hampae Adonai Lahu Leola Hampae On page 30, um, Bob Braven, past international left JMC president, is going to lead us here to the Shema, who is currently living in Boston. Today in New Hampshire. As we make the transition from the preliminary service to the Shema and its blessings, let us just take another deep breath, feel this different position that we had from when we were sitting, standing. And as we make this transition, I'll read the words of the Chatzit Kaddish. This, and as we do these alliterative words, take a breath and let them out in between. Yit Kadal, the Yit Kadash, Shemi Rabbah, the Yoma Divrochi Rutevi Amlich Machute, the Chaye Chom, Vyome Chom, the Chaye de Hobe Israel, Bagala, Bisman Koribinu. Amen. Yehe Shemi Rabbah Mavarach, the Olam Olamay Omaya. Yit Barach, the Yish Tabach, the Yit Pahar, the Yit Raman, the Yit Nase, the Yit Tadar, the Yit Tale, the Yit Tala, made a goodisha, Brihu, the Elam in Kol Birchata, the Shirata, Tushbachata, the Nechemata, Damiran, the Oma, the Yimru, Amen. The section of the Shema and its blessings, in my view, is one of the most sensual parts of our liturgy, where we use every one of our senses, the sense of hearing, the sense of sight, the sense of touch, and in our hearts, as we get closer to the Shema, the sense of the feeling of love. So open each of your senses as your breath, as you take a breath, as I begin the call to worship. Baruchu et Adonai, Hamavarach. Baruch Adonai Barach, Le'olam Vayed. Adonai Hamavarach, Le'olam Vayed. Baruch Atonai Le'olam Vayed. Baruch Atonai Le'olam Yotzer Obrech Hoshech. Hosea Shalom, Obarei et Hakom. And as we sit and become comfortable again in our seating position, in your mind's eye, think about a starry sky. Or think about the dawn as we read the first paragraph before the Shema. May God, the gates of the east, open the windows of the sky, 
Bring forth the sun from its place and the moon from where it sits. None is like you, Abner, our God, in this world. None but you exists, and none can compare to you. I may hear the hearts of the ring of the You renew creation every day. How varied your works out when I hope fashioned in wisdom. El Baruch Kotal Dea, Almighty Blessed Creator of all who dwell on the earth, the firmament, and goodly heavens are illuminated with your justice, kindness, and light. Tipura Adonai Eloheinu Ashavach Maseyotecha, Yoveore Or, for the work of your hands, for the radiant lights that you fashion. Reflecting your glory in all Sacred speech together as one, they respond with awe. Kadosh, 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 Adonai, Tzavot, Baloch, Ola, Oretz, Kebosh, Bahafanim, Bahayot, HaKodesh. With a deafening sound, they rose up, proclaimed their praise. Baruch, Kavod, Adonai, Nim, Kavod, Adonai, Nim, Kavod, Adonai, Nim, and we began with the creator of the lights in the firmament, and we end this section with Bor Chadash. Bor Chadash, Al Tzion, Ta'ir, Veniz Kechulana, Mehei, Raleo, Ro. Baruch Adonai, Creator of Light. And as we approach the final blessing before the Shema, open your heart and feel God's love. Ahava Rabbah Tanu Adonai Eloheinu, who have loved us deeply, Adonai our God, and taught us with boundless compassion. Avi Malkeinu Avulam. Enlighten our eyes with your Torah and attach our hearts to your mitzvot. Unify our hearts to revere and love your name so that we will never lose hope. And as we gather our tzitzit, we think about the people all over the world who in this day are fighting for their lives and their future. And lead us in dignity to our land for you are the God who affects deliverance.
recite the Shema together, each word on an elongated out breath. Hearing what needs to be heard, what is there in the in breath in between the word on the exhale. Shema. Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Yeah, <laughs> Rasach <laughs> Adonai, 
ויציב ונכון וקיים וישר ונאמן ויעוף וחביב ונחמד ונעים ונורע ויאדיר ומצוקה למצובל וטוב ויפה הדבר הזה עלינו יומם ועד אמת אלוהי אלמנטינו צו יעקב מגישנו לדור מדור הוא קיים ושמו קיים וחיסון אחרון מלכותו ואמונתו לעד קיים וברת חיים וקיימים נאמנים ונחמדים לעד עול עלמים, על אבותינו, עלינו, על בנינו, על דורותינו, והכל דורות זרע ישראל עבדיך, על הראשונים, אך אחרונים דבתו, וקיים לעולם ועד, אמת ואמונה, חוק ולא יעבור, אמת שאתה ואתה אלוהינו דבר אבותינו, מלכנו מלך אבותינו, גואלנו גואל אבותינו, יוצרנו צו ישועתנו, הודינו מצילנו מעולם שבך אין אלוהים זולתך. עזרת אבותינו, אתה הוא מעולם. Though you abide at the pinnacles of the universe, your just decrees to extend to the ends of the earth. Happy the one who obeys you, Miss Bolt, who takes to heart the words of your Torah. You are in truth amended to your people, the defender and mighty ruler. In truth, you are first and you are last. We have no servant or redeemer, but you, you rescued us from Egypt, Adonai, our God, and you redeemed us from the house of bondage. Azot shiku ovin v'rubu mu'el. V'nabidin im zimrot shirot v'gish pachot v'chot pachot o'ot. L'melech al chag t'ayam. Ram v'nisa gadol v'nora. V'ashpil gehim v'gmad v'yashpalim. Motsi asirim v'fode anavim ozir dalim. V'onye l'amo v'chavam elav. T'ilot l'elion baruch v'mevorach. Moshe v'ne Yisrael l'cha anu shira. בשמחה רבה ויאמרו כולם, מי כמוך באים בגנאי, מי כמוך נדר בקודש, נורא תהילות עושי פלט. שירה חדשה שיקחו גילים, בשמחה על שפת הים. יחד כולם הודו והמליכו ואמרו, אדוני ימלוך לעולם ועד. צרו ישראל, קומה בעזרת ישראל. ידי חינומך יהודה וישראל, ועלינו אדוני צבאות שמו קדוש ישראל. ברוך אתה אדוני, קל ישראל. In a moment we'll begin the Amida, which we'll dive in today individually, beginning on 36B. As a kavana for the Amida today, I invite you to consider three things. One is, in this moment, just in this moment, what am I grateful for? And the second thing, in this moment, right now, what do I yearn for? What do I need? And the third thing to consider is, in this moment, what does the universe, what does God demand of me? So those three things, What am I grateful for? What do I need? And how am I needed? Use them as the backdrop as you examine the words either in Hebrew or in English and see which of the words of the Amidah connect to one of those thoughts. What am I grateful for? What do I need? And how am I needed? And then when you finished with the words of the Amidah, In that silence that follows while we're waiting for everyone else to finish as well, go back to those three questions and feel them in the body. See what arises. What am I grateful for? What do I need? And how am I needed? So set your attention to be with those questions in the back of your mind as you focus on the words. Take a deep cleansing breath and begin your Anidah.
Amen. 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 So today is the 10th day of the counting of the Omer. We're in the second week. And last week, we focused on the Midah of Chesed, of loving kindness, which is God's building block of creation. Olam Chesed, Yibanya. All of creation flows from that. Without that, nothing could exist. But creation doesn't stop with Chesed. If Chesed is only unbounded loving kindness without anything to contain it, then there's no creation. And so in the second week, we focus on the, the midah of gvura, which means strength, but it also means, it also means boundaries. Not boundaries that separate us from one another uh, in a way that cuts the flow of chesed, but boundaries in the way that define us as vessels that can hold chesed and that can connect through the solidity of what we are. So I invite you to think as we conclude our service this morning of the quality of gvura, of strength and boundary within you. What is it that defines you? What is it that creates your separateness in a way that is able to be a vessel through which chesed can flow? Just take a couple of deep breaths into the body and feel the solidity of this body. Feel the boundaries of skin and bone and uh, physicality that makes us unique in this world. And appreciate the gbura, the boundedness that keeps us together so that we can hold chesed. And in that sense of strength and dignity of gvura, I invite you to page 83, the Alenu. We realize we are strong, but we are not by ourselves. We we acknowledge the power through which chesed and vura flow. Page 83. Aleinu l'shabeach l'adon ha'kol, l'te kedula l'yon seher breishit, shelo asanu kigodei ha'aratzot, velo samayu k'nishpechot ha'adama, shelo sam kokein d'fahem, Bigorali, <laughs> Who Elohim ain't odd? And that's Bokain do Episulato. Kaka do Vitorato. The Adata Yoga Shevota Elma Beha. 
ויהי אדוני הוא האלוהים בשמיים ממעל ועל הארץ מתחת אין עוד ונאמר והי אדוני למלך על כל הארץ ביום ההוא ביום ההוא יהיה אדוני אחד ושמו 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 For those who are mourning or observing yard side, stay standing and we'll join together in the mourner's Kaddish. Page 84. Yitgadal, yitgadash shemei rabah, yamlich mach, yamad yivrach yirutei, yamlich mach yirutei, v'chayechon uvimechon, v'chayei dechol beit Yisrael, v'agala uvizman kari v'imru amen. יהי שמי רבה נבורך לעולם ולעולמי עליה יתברך וישתבח ויתבער ויתרומם ויתנשא ויתהדר ויתעלה ויתעלה שמי דקודשה ריחו לאלה מכל דחתה ושירתה תושבחתה ונחמתה דאמירן ביומה ואמרו אמן יהי שלמה רבה מן שמיה וחיים עלינו ועל כל ישראל ואמרו אמן זה שלום במרמיו, הוא יעשה שלום עלינו ועל כל ישראל, ועל כל יושבי תבל ואמרו אמן. אמן. Reads, peace in the heavens grant peace to us, to the land and people of Israel, to all peoples with whom we share this good earth. We grant, God grant health, healing and peace to all of those who are in need on this day and let us say Amen. Okay, Tao.